Hello everybody and welcome back to the Galactic Empire's Expanse into whatever this galaxy is. I need to come up with a name for the for the uh, galaxy. I didn't I just realized that. Um but yeah, we're slowly expanding. We have fairly peaceful neighbors, so I'm pretty happy about that. I think we're probably going to attack and try to vassalize this guy. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to look at him. He's looking equivalent to me more or less. I think that's going to change very soon because I have... He says superior, and then everything says equivalent. That must be a bug with the beta patch or something. Maybe with the mod. But because of my expanded economy here, I think I'm going to overtake these guys pretty quickly. So yeah, let's, let's hop right back into it. Uh, the earthquake damage report has come in. We did leave it on a bit of a cliffhanger there. Uh, the recent earthquake which shook our colony in Benami Prime has caused large sinkhole to open. Whatever once occupied that spot is now deep underground. Worrying. Pause. Zero percent failure risk. Go ahead and do that. Where is this? Okay. Our colony disappeared. <sighs> it says that it's still being colonized though? No, that's a different planet. Hmm. Well, that was very unfortunate. We're going to have to recolonize. I guess we'll wait for this colony to finish. We also can select another tradition, or the first tradition, I guess, depending on how you think about it. We're adopting this one so that we get a little bit better chance to find some anomalies and whatnot. And with that, I probably want to build a science ship. Uh, Kuzan Prime is not ready for a spaceport yet. You are already having a spaceport. Alright, that's very good. Hmm, I don't think there's much we want to do there. On the surface, we are getting ready for the Batharian power plant, but we need five people for it, I believe. We need the planetary administration... Which we can only upgrade until we have five bots. Yep, so we are waiting on five people. It shouldn't take too long, but we do have to wait nonetheless. And we are surveying, of course. Uh, how does our... Our task force is kind of light. We probably want to add more Corvettes to it. So that's ten. We have twenty slots. Glancing hit. While approaching fact 1B... The INV's Zephyr suddenly received a glancing hit by several passing mass driver rounds. The projectiles were billions of years old, and based on their trajectory, they appear to be stray rounds from a neighboring galaxy. After missing their intended target, they continued on their journey untold millennia until today. These rounds we have recovered are an ancient of an ancient design, despite their incredible age. Maybe those were shot at us while we were jumping over here. Either way, it's incredible, and we're getting some physics research out of it. So that is good. So we're going to have 10. We need 2, 3, whatever. We can't fill out our ranks quite yet, but we should start working towards getting as many of those as possible. We also should save up for a colony ship, which I'll probably do now. That was very unfortunate. We had just colonized, and then our people died into a... Giant sinkhole. Unstable tectonics. Recent tectonics. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we don't want to spend our resources on this quite yet. It is a good planet, but it's not a perfect planet, and we don't have a lot of the tech to really utilize it, so maybe we just leave it alone for now. It's very likely that things will happen again. Uh, we did get our next science ship, which is good. We're going to recruit another scientist. Do we have... We have a field manipulation person. Let's get the genius. We're going to have to shuffle around a bit here. We have nobody working on the right stuff. Let's throw the genius up here in the point defense. 
Z leading engineering available. I don't think we need to change anything else around. And then on the science ship, we will add the field manipulation guy. All right, cool. Now, you, let's go ahead and have you survey these systems within our borders. We would like to utilize any resources that they have in them as soon as possible. Uh, this one as well. And then go ahead and survey that guy. That should keep him busy for a little bit there. And then this science ship is doing his thing over here in the further reaches. This construction on new New Coruscant is finished. What are we looking at? We should probably clear that. Let's just go ahead and clear everything at this point. 0% failure risk, we're definitely going to do that. We're actually out of energy. I totally forgot that we have the colonies going on. Maybe we don't want to do this quite yet. We'll hold off. Cancel that. Yeah, we got refunded. Okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and hold off on that for now. But in the future, we would definitely want to do that. But while we're not making energy credits, I don't think that's a good idea. It won't take very long for... Oh, it's, our colony is actually finished. Okay, Ofang 1 was home to a small Voltum outpost that where they traded several with several neighboring civilizations. Blech. Okay, one more time. Ofang 1 was home to a small Voltum outpost where they traded with several neighboring civilizations. At some point, the trade post appears to have been converted into a religious mission where the Voltom attempted to convert visiting alien merchants to their philosophy. Trade ceased shortly afterward, and the planet was eventually abandoned. Alright. Situation log updated. Research complete. Who? Oh, okay. Aliens. At your command. Can't research, not high enough skill. That's fine. We can come back with our other scientist once he's done with his mission. We've got exoskeletons which is great i'm thinking we probably want to go with armor next system survey complete yeah let's do armor next we've already got a little bit of project progress and uh it's gonna be good for our ships did we get destroyers yet i don't think we did what are we looking at i think we have level two that's not what i wanted all right, let's just do it this way. Uh, we do have level two spaceports. No, maybe we don't. I don't know. I'm getting confused now between this this series and the last one. I think. Anomaly found. Oh crap! I didn't want to stop it. I wanted to look at the researched queue. Apparently, we don't have it. <laughs> Research the green color. All right. Well, we'll have to research that at some time in the near future. It would be nice to be able to bump up our fleet power a little bit. Since you are done, build a spaceport, please. That's important. Then we have our observation post here. What do we want to do with these guys? We can do aggressive indoctr indoctrination. We can't do technological enlightenment. We don't have the policy... We can't covert infiltrate. What? About these policies, huh? Uh, Native enlightenment prohibited. Do we want to prohibit it? I don't know if we do. They like arid planets, which we don't. So it'd be good to have these guys in our... In our, uh... Empire. Just for the ability to colonize planets. Nobody's gonna get upset about it. I think we changed that policy. Let's go ahead and allow enlightenment. Hopefully that doesn't piss anybody off, but I don't think it will. And we have found a new metal. Detailed service scans of CP-011138 
have identified a large impact crater containing wreckage of several ancient starships of unknown design. The ships appear to be completely devoid of life, of life support systems, leading us to suspect that they were either usually large drones or controlled by some sort of artificial intelligence. Interestingly, the hull of the ship was constructed out of living metal, an exceedingly rare and inorganic material with many unique properties. This metal can be programmed to assume a certain shape or form, and it will slowly regrow itself if damaged. Very cool. Um, over a period of several millennia, the surviving metal from the wreck ships has was fused into a large, extremely dense deposit that can be potentially mined for centuries to come. I like that. I like that a lot. I want the living metal. It's not particularly great, honestly, but I just like the idea of it. Uh, we've surveyed more systems. I definitely recognize that. I like that it's green where you can go and red where you can't. I like how the hyperlinks do that. It's very nice. Once you're done with that, you don't have the skill either? Oh, that's right, because I swapped them around. Hmm. That could be problematic. System survey complete. Well, why don't you go survey that? Now, let's look at the resources here. We've got four, seven, nine, possibly 11 minerals. And then we've got 10 energy and a bunch of engineering and a little bit of physics research. Is it worth an outpost? Why does that say they're superior? I don't understand. Either way, it doesn't matter. Border friction is already pissing them off. They have, yeah, they don't like our bombardment policy and blah, blah, blah. But... Do I want to piss them off even further is the question. It is a lot of energy. It's a good amount of energy. But I don't know if it's really worth it. Whereas we can expand this way with little issue. And these guys aren't going to be a problem for us. I think we'll leave it alone for now. When we're ready we'll, you know, incorporate that territory into our nation. But for now we'll leave it alone. Our construction ship isn't doing anything, but we have checked out a lot of new places. Let's go ahead and build those mining stations. And then you're going to go over here and build these mining stations as well. And you might as well build those. Alright, we can close those. How's it going on our home planet here? We want... Failure risk 10%, that's fine. Faction has been founded. A new faction has reasonably been gaining traction in the internal political landscape of the Galactic Empire. Led by Admiral Dmitry Ferendin, they call themselves the Strength Through Unity Initiative. Their members have been pushing hard for an extreme centralization of political and military power. A disgruntled faction will cause a source of trouble and blah blah blah. So they're fairly happy. They're obviously going to want us to do... Well, militarily, Harmonious Empire. Mm, that's probably not going to happen. Extra national authority, extending influence to dominate a subject nations. That I would probably like to do very soon, and we have a stratified, stratified a society already. Okay, very cool, very cool. Uh, there's a huge anomaly out there. Well, level three. It's pretty big. Our ruler, Sheep Palpatine, has leveled up and gained the I for Talent trait. This one, I think I've seen before. Yes, leader skill plus one, leader recruitment cost plus 25%. Not bad. Really not bad. Gas Giant Ship. Active scans of Hagawa 3 have picked up what appears to be a large ship deep inside the atmosphere of a gas giant. Judging by the nearby debris, there have been several failed attempts to salvage this derelict in the past. Any ship strong enough to withstand such a crushing gravity must be a magnificent prize. Science Officer Cognar Kolgter, Kolgter, <laughs> it's a funny name, has proposed a salvage 
project of our own. Hmm. Yeah, let's try. Why not? Research the project. You are finishing up all of that. And then you need to survey that one, survey that one. Just keep surveying. Don't stop surveying. No, well, I don't think we're going to make it all the way out here. What planet did he colonize? I don't remember seeing a colonizable here. I guess there is. It looks like a tundra or something. That's cool. You've got society research. Reveals filtarian dust. Food output plus 10%. Not bad. But I'm thinking the the uh, deep crust engineering here is a little more useful for us right now. I'm going to go with that. Special project has been completed. In a masterful display of engineering, the team under the science officer, Cognar Coulter, has managed to gently raise the derelict ship from Hagawa 3 into the gas giant's upper atmosphere. Despite its age, the ancient cruiser has, is in remarkably good condition, and we have restored its powers to its system. No trace of the original crew remains, but we have brought over our own commission ship into the fleet. Brought over our own and commissioned the ship into the fleet. Okay, cool. So we got a cruiser? We got a cruiser. Very cool. Is it any good? It's got disruptors and medium blue lasers. Not perfect. Definitely could use a bit of work, but it's not bad, honestly. That's really cool. That's quite the uh, military power. Go ahead. Group up with them. And then the science ship here is continuing to survey. We'll survey all around here. I really wish that I just had an auto survey button. I know that it's research, but I feel that that's stupid because it is a pain in the ass to queue up all of this stuff. I feel like it should just be part of the damn game. All right, enough complaining. We have a negative balance, really. Oh, probably because of the cruiser out and about, if I had to guess. You already got somebody there. Can we do the Batharian? No, because we need to upgrade that first. That's right. So we'll have a Batharian power plant soon, which is gonna be great. We also probably want to Mm, let's just do a basic power plant. I think this is going to be an energy world in the future. So I'm going to kind of lean that way so that later on I don't have to spend so many materials changing it back. I'm going to build a power plant there. These can be upgraded once the planetary administration has been, but I will be doing that after I get the Batharian here. Oh, in fact, I want to cancel these because I'm going to have to do the upgrade before I can actually build anything. So we'll wait on that. That's fine. New Coruscant. Doing okay. We could clear this. That'll help with our energy needs and the food would help as well. And then we have Kuzon Prime here where we haven't really done any development at all. Roll Civilization encountered. We have detected the presence of an alien civilization on Zirish in the Rapix system. They appear to be an early space age and evidence of many primitive satellites orbiting their homeworld. Their nation states are on the path towards joining together in a global government. It is all likely a matter of time before they venture beyond the world and join the galactic community. We should consider building an observation post on their world to study them more closely. Very interesting. Show me. I see. We need to do something about that immediately. What are you doing right now? You know what? Go ahead and build the observation post immediately. 
We're gonna have to uplift these people so that they don't become their own nation. If they do... It's a fairly small planet. Twenty percent habitability. I wouldn't like to invade it if I don't have to, but if I have to, I will. Uh, we also want to build more ships. We can get four hundred forty power with that cruiser. That's really nice. That was a great bump to our military strength. Uh, we don't have any destroyer tech, so we might as well just build more corvettes. We're at 17, so that'll be 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4. That should fill us out for now. The Vol... Voltown? Voltown? Trying to pronounce this correctly for the first time. First time, the uh, Voltam Virtual Reality Center. Voltam engineers have... At some point, built a massive orbital complex near Rapix 2. Dedicated to computer research, strangely, the, they seem to have ignored the normally popular field of artificial intelligence to focus exclusively on virtual realities and a massive computer simulation. Um, most of the complex has been ruined by weapons fire and micrometeoroids, but what remains is in remarkable condition given the station's age. Situation Very order. interesting. Please research that. Is that gonna give me like pleasure domes or something? Tech has been researched. We got the composite armor. Living metal. Mega structure build speed, monthly hull regeneration. Hmm. We could do that. It is materials research. Or we could start working on this. Do we have a Voidcraft guy, though? That's the thing. Doesn't look like we do. Can we recruit one? No. Uh, the problem is... We'll likely fall behind in military tech if we don't start researching this right away. I think we have to bite the bullet and go for that. Just so that we don't fall behind. Also, on LaVisco Prime here, getting very close to being able to build a Batharian power plant. 45 days. Just go ahead and wait here. Hopefully no crazy events pop up. Admiral gains a trait. Uh, ship operating costs, so they got logistics. It's great. Research complete. Research complete. complete. Construction complete, which means that we are ready to build our Batharian power plant. Beautiful. Uh, we have active countermeasures, so we want to work on something new. We could do solar panel networks, or we could do physics labs. We are short on energy. I think we're going to go for the solar panel networks. Give us one more avenue of, you know, riding that ship. This. We're going to go power plant. This, we're going to go basic mine. This, we're gonna go power plant. Oh, you know what? Cancel that. We already have somebody here. Go ahead and build hydroponics farm. We can't clear any more of the food tiles, which is pretty annoying, but we'll be able to in the future. So, you know, it is what it is. Did we get the volcano? No, we're still working on the volcanoes. Construction complete stuff. New Coruscant is working on some stuff. Go ahead and build a hydroponics farm there. Actually, let's swap those. The archaeologist investigating the Tol Voltum orbital complex above Rapix 2 has stumbled across an interesting find. They managed to recover a partial copy of what apparently... What was apparently a fairly popular multi-user virtual reality game enjoyed by billions of the Voltum across their empire. 
Although the game takes place in a fictional and highly satirized version of, the of their contemporary society, it has proved to be an invaluable source of information on both their language and customs. We get physics research. Interestingly enough, you would think it would be society. Maybe a little bit of physics. But, okay. We get physics research and we get plus one artifact. Oh, maybe that's part of... a thing? I don't know. I don't know what the artifact's for, but that's cool. We've surveyed a system. We have a board science ship here. You need to continue surveying. We also want to select this system. We want to enlighten. Five energy. Uh, how long is it going to take? Zero of 100, 2.5 per month. So five every two months and we have 12 months in the year. So six times five is 30. It's going to take about three years. A little longer. Hmm. It's expensive, but we should be able to pay for it pretty soon. I think we'll do it. Construction, complete. Construction has been completed on Lavasco Prime, which is now putting us in positive energy credits because that beautiful Batharian power plant. Look at that, 13 energy credits. It's crazy. Hostile fleet? Oh. What are we doing here? What? Oh, you're you're warping away? Okay, yeah, fine. It's good with me. Some survey, that's fine. Construction ship is bored. We can build some mining stations out here to get some more energy credits. And then we'll build some over here. There are a ton of mineral stations around here as well. We'll have to do those later. Where did our other science ship go? You're here. Then I want you to survey this and this. And then go survey... Well, no, you can just survey it around. It's fine. None of those are actually in our systems yet. Cool. And how are we looking stacked up against these guys right now? More or less equivalent. More or less equivalent. It's fine with me. We're a little under our fleet limit, but it's not a big deal. Missing tech to do that. We're just working on it right now. I think once we upgrade the spaceports, we get a little bit of fleet power as well, which would be nice. Okay. Research that. Survey completed. Though our survey of habitable worlds are biologists. Through our survey of habitable worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data on alien life forms, Many of our older theories in development of life have been disproved, and our scientific community has built a new model from scratch. Has had to build new models from scratch. Uh, our most interesting findings are being displayed in a newly dedicated museum of exobiology on New New Coruscant. The public is enthralled, and many, de many donations have been made to aid the continued research of the strange life forms. I almost said detonations for some reason. So we get a bunch of society research, we get better we get a bunch of energy credits. Sounds good to me. Um and then we're still working on this, right? Yeah. We're like a third of the way there. Incoming transmission. We have a trade deal. Star charts for star charts. I don't think I really want to do that. I'd prefer to survey myself because of the bonuses that I get. Uh we found a Voltum colony. The partial remains of the collapsed Voltum and space elevator 
space elevator. That's cool. Have been discovered by the INV Caravan. In one of the equatorial regions of Astrakhan 2, it seems the elevator was intentionally severed at its counterweight beyond geostationary orbit, collapsing the massive cable on top of several major urban centers alongside the equator. Judging by the ruins, the resulting death toll must have been in the millions. It's brutal. Some like crazy war stuff going on. Special project space elevator. Where was that? Is it in here? How come I don't see the special project? It is here. Research that project. Then survey system. Then survey that system. And then that one. And then that one. All right, cool. So they want our maps. Let's see if they'll buy them from us. Information, star charts. Worth three to them. That's pretty good. They don't want to give me any minerals. None at all. All right, will you give me energy credits then? Doesn't look like much. Sure, take them, whatever. All right, construction ship is working away on the uh, orbital platforms. We do have a lot of minerals around. We can definitely get a ton of minerals going, which is going to be great for our Navy. And we should, as soon as we get that tech, we need to start upgrading our spaceports. I think because we have so many minerals and we're making so many energy credits, we should try colonizing one more time. An archaeolog archaeological project has been completed. Our archaeologists on Astrakhan 2 have managed to recover the partial remains of the star chart next to a broken segment of the elevator cable. It was apparently used by captains in the Voltum Merchant Marine, and it shows several of their most lucrative interstellar trade routes. Okay, so society research and another artifact. I feel like that's some sort of research or situation log event chain that I'm missing because I don't want to go look at it. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? We want to build a power plant there. And on this planet, you need a power plant. This is the one I wanted to gear towards power. Yes, this is the one I wanted to gear towards power. So you're getting a power plant. You're getting minerals, definitely. Also, that lady can go there. Mining network. I've already got the food. We'll build one more mining network here. That will get filled in soon. Construction complete. System survey complete. Yeah, research that. That's zero, zero percent chance of failure. Let's go ahead and build all these mining stations. Those are going to be very useful soon. And then we're out of resources, apparently. We have traditions that we can pick. And also there was an alien mural that we found. While conducting surface scans on Kuma 5A, science officer, blah, blah, blah. And his crew of the, the Zephyr discovered what appears to be an artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not yet detected any other signs of alien activity on the moon, and exactly how this mural came to be is just it's a bit of a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. Okay, one second. Planetary Survey Corps, please. We can get a little bit of a... Wait. Wasn't it here? Am I confused? Was it out here? Was it on Kuma? It was on Kuma. Okay. Research the project. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, we're getting science from surveying now, which is very good. Construction complete. Construction is completed on Kazam. 
Uh, let's go ahead and back out of that. We should probably just clear these at this point. Like we need to start clearing as many tile blockers as we can. Got a few mineral deposits that we're working on. Ikarzui civilization encountered another uh, mini civilization. Keep running into them. But we are going over 35 minutes, so I'm going to have to cut this episode here. We will continue this in the next one. I hope you guys are enjoying our expanse. We are doing a great way of building our economy up. We're getting a lot of progress done. So in the next one, we'll probably continue a bit. We're, we're going to continue to keep our navy as well equipped as possible and keep enlightening, I guess, these guys. I don't know. I wish I could just enslave them. Maybe in a future DLC or something. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the Galactic Empire's Expanse in this new galaxy, and I will see you in the next one.